All right, here's another random video for you. Uh, I was cutting up some wood and I was throwing it into the wheelbarrow to move it and I broke the bottom of my wheelbarrow. Um, it obviously went the other direction, but I bumped it back out um, just for the fix so I had room to work under there. So lots of different ways for people to do this. Um, I'm gonna show you how I do it because I think this will be the most supportive moving forward to prevent it from re-breaking. So here we go. Okay, so I flipped the wheelbarrow upside down and the very first thing I did was take a piece of two by four and cut it to match the angle of my handles coming up from the front. And I put it underneath right where that crack is and I put two screws on on each side. Because um, no matter what you do that plastic, no matter how you repair it, it's gonna be weaker most likely. And so it'll have a tendency to bust through again. And so I, I made it flush with the, the handles. And so let's get a focus there. So that way it'll act as a support now for the um, wheelbarrow, um, that crack, so. That's the first step I made in that wheelbarrow. All right, so I grabbed a hammer, flipped it over, grabbed a hammer, and, and knocked the uh, knocked that piece back into place. So now that I've got it into place on the top and then on the bottom, it's kind of a line. Now I can move forward with repairing the crack. Okay, the last step that I take here is I, I use this uh, JB Weld plastic bonder. I've used this a significant number of projects before that have broken plastic items, and I think it's super strong. So I, what I did is I mixed the whole tube up, and I just smeared it across the top, and I pushed it and kind of moved it and tried to get it in the cracks as best as I could. So I've, I've, I've bonded it on the top, and then I've also bonded it underneath on the crack as well. So um, basically, you know, I, I think this should be strong enough to do the job. One disadvantage here maybe is when you're like mixing concrete or anything with a, with a shovel, you, you probably have a tendency to want to catch that. I don't anticipate it ever cracking the, the, the weld on it, but I think it should be strong enough to do what we need to. And after adding the support underneath again with that two by four, uh, any time pressure or weight gets on it, it's not going to be strong enough to want to crack that or break that um, seal uh, just because we've got some support there. So I think we're solid. I think we're good.